Although a custodian by trade, all the students that I spoke to here today said pretty much the same thing. Rufus Barr was way more than that to this high school. To Veronica Trotter, he became like a second father after she lost her real dad in 2010. said, okay, since your father passed, I will be like a dad to you. So it's like that's really made my heart feel much better because he's really considered me as his child. Some told of times Rufus stepped in when their pockets were empty. Don't tell anyone, but um, we were in the cab and I didn't have money for the snacks, I guess. And he hold me down, went inside and got some snacks. And you know, he would just give me so much positivity that day and tell me that I could make it in life. Others aspired to follow in his footsteps, a responsibility he embraced. I was always with him. Uh, I was just helping him so I could learn because I wanted to be a custodian as well with him. Police say Barr, an avid fisherman, and a woman were thrown from a rowboat they were in on the New Croton Reservoir in Newcastle early Sunday morning. Police have not identified the woman who was treated and released from North Westchester Hospital in Mount Gisco. Police are still trying to figure out how it happened. So is his wife Brenda. We all, the whole family went fishing with them. The whole family. If I didn't go, they went. And, and doesn't understand what happened because he was able to swim. It's, it's just really strange, really. But this vigil wasn't all about tears. The Riverside boys basketball team remembers Barr as one of their biggest fans, and a baller in his own right. I heard he had a good shot. Yeah, he did. He had a good shot. He might be 54, but he got a good jump shot. He got it, yeah. Now services for Barr will be held in the Bronx on Tuesday at McCall's Bronxwood Funeral Home. In Yonkers, Steve Brennan, Files 1 News.